welcome to my channel today we'll be making this beautiful end table but before we get started if you're watching from Facebook and you'd love to give me a thumbs up please click the three dots on the top right corner of your mobile device and then select open in YouTube and from there you can give me a thumbs up or you can subscribe or you can leave me a comment I would love to hear from you guys so we're going to be transforming these magazine holders from Ikea. They come two in a set, but one is half an inch smaller than the other. So in order to make this table, you will need two sets, but then you can make two tables. So I'll be using a cardboard frame and I'm just going to place them on top of the cardboard and cut the shape out. So next I'll cut the piece for the back and that's going to be 20 inches long and the cardboard that I have is 18 inches wide and then you're gonna cut two of those just follow the measurements on the screen if you would like to make this this part will be the center piece for the frame And then we're gonna cut four squares for the shelves. And I'm just going to use the magazine holder to measure from one corner to the next. And then I'll cut those out. And then I'm going to use two of them to measure my base. And I'm leaving a half an inch because that's where I'll place my centerpiece. And we also need two pieces of this one so now that we have all our pieces cut out then we can start to glue them together and I'm just going to use my wood glue and glue them together and I'm using any weights that I have around just to hold them down so they can stay firm in place and this center piece it's supposed to be 19 and a half inches I did cut that at 20 inches but that needs to be 19 and a half. And I'll just use a piece of sandpaper to make sure that the surface is even because I need a even surface to apply my mosaic tiles. So this is a center piece and I'm just measuring where I want my shelves to be. I did mark four spots, but I ended up just using two shelves. And then I'm just going to use that same piece to mark the spots on the back to make sure that they line up with each other. And then I'm just scraping away the base, the grip from underneath the base so I can glue them together. And for the last measurement, you're just going to find the center on the back. So you can place your centerpiece and then I'm just using hot glue and E6000. I'll be using E6000 and hot glue right throughout this project. And then I'm going to glue the base and then I'm placing my shelves. I did prepare to put four shelves but I realized that I didn't like it. So I just place two shelves instead. And I'm also doubling up the pieces so they can hold some weight. So now I'll just glue the top. So next I'll just take it outside and spray paint it gold because that's the color I'll be working with today. Gold and brown. I plan on giving this to my sister and that's her color. So for this part you might want to 
used um, contact paper. I went ahead and I used um, these poster board that I had painted. I did a tutorial before, so I had these laying around. Um, I did a tutorial showing where you can use poster board and paint it to make it look like wood grain. So I just cut the poster board into one inch strips and then I'm just weaving it. But please go ahead and use contact paper if you're going to do this because this part was time consuming. And while you're watching, I'll really appreciate a thumbs up. It helps YouTube algorithm to recognize me and it will help to grow my channel. And if you're new here and you would like to see my weekly tutorials, Please subscribe and select the post notifications so you will be notified the moment I upload a new video. So now I'm going to work on the top and I'll be adding an imaginary drawer. So I just cut out a piece of cardboard to match this spot and then I'll glue it in place. And I'm going to be using um, these half an inch mirror tiles. I'm going to go ahead and use mosaic strips, that will be easier. I did not plan for this part. I did not paint it. I planned on doing something totally different with it. Just going to use some acrylic paint and then add crushed glass. And I'm just going to use Mod Podge to add the crushed glass. As I said, the weaving took a lot of time. So um, I'm not sure if you'd want to do that part. But if you do want to do that part, I have a tutorial on my channel. Um, where I show you how to paint acrylic paint to make it look like wood on, on a poster board. So you can go ahead and check that one out when you're done. I'll link it at the end of this video. So I'll be adding this crystal knob to my make-believe drawer and then I'll leave it overnight to dry. And then the next day I just shook off the excess and added more Mod Podge to steal it. So I'll be adding more of my mirror tiles. And as I said, go ahead and use mosaic strips, they're easier to use. And at the end where it was too small, I just added a piece of my faux wood. I'm just adding a second piece of cardboard to the base so my glass won't get chipped. So for the top, I have this piece of mirror that I'll use in the center. And then around it, I'll, I'll place some broken pieces of mirror that I have. And then I'll use this grout to fill it in. And normally I don't use white grout, I always add color to it, so I'm going to add this brown to it to tint the color just a little bit. And this whole filler, it's very easy to use. I find that it's very easy to use when you're doing mosaics. After 15 minutes, I just go over the spots again. And then after half an hour, I use a piece of dry cloth to clean the glass and it's good. 
and I'm just using my finger to smooth the areas so now it's time to put the top on and I'm putting a lot of my E6000 and my hot glue and then you just want to rest it right on top and make sure that it's centered and then I'm just gonna use some more weights and put it on top to hold it down in place and I'm using my leveler to make sure that it's level and our project is complete thank you very much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't done so as yet i'd like to have you back next week and please turn on your post notifications so you'll get notified thanks very much for watching bye bye